้แชร์สไลด์เลยไหมครับเดี๋ยวพี่จะรับเด็กเข้าห้องมาครับได้ค่ะได้ค่ะโอเคครับผม
Hi everyone, can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, very clearly. Okay. Okay. How many participants now? 34. Okay. 34. Let's get started, right? Shall we start, yeah. right? Okay. Okay, good morning, all attendants. My name is Ad. Good morning, PR, and good morning, everyone. My name is Kao Fang. Okay, Kao, we, we are MC for today's events. It's right now, we are waiting for our friends to come and join us. Uh, the open house today we will start at night time. So we have uh, half an hour, okay, uh, 10 minutes. We officially start the event with the totally and all like programs. Yes, we will start uh, at 9 a.m. But now we will introduce some uh, information for our students in the Zoom meeting right now. Yes, we are. I am a bit sad that we cannot organize this event at our faculty and cannot meet with all of you face to face. I'm so sad. Yes, I think so. It's very bad. It's very bad, bad situation right now. And yes. Yeah. So today, how many percent? Okay. Um. Thank you all online conference program that helped us to a lot of to make even. So and I thank you for all us today. Yes, I hope you all are safe. Okay, PR, what can we do while waiting for uh, more people to join us? Okay, sure, Nong Fang. First of all, we would like to know what we are interested in tropical medicine. So it is very important to address your had you done for religious for this event in case of you didn't do that before. Yes, uh, I think so, PR, uh, because some attendees today have already registered for this event, but mm -hmm. some people still have not. Uh, so if you have not registered for this event yet, please do uh, so via the link that ap appear in the Zoom meeting chat, or you can scan QR code from the slides showing up on the it's screen right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and yeah, another way is we already send the document to you all by the email for some some student that registered already. We, we already sent the document to your email. You can check from that also. Okay, thank you, Nankafa. I'm, I'm sorry, so I think since we this is the first time you went, we do an open uh open house online and I think we have so yeah. many things we would like to show off you within those three hours. What do we have, Nong Uh Can you spy a little bit to our attendance? I think they sure. was also right to know now. Yes, yes, sure. We are today we prepare a lot of activities for participants. Um, the event will be divided to uh, two main sections. The first part, uh, uh, which will use the uh, this main room as a venue mm -hmm. will be the introductory part uh, you will hear about our faculty of tropical medicine who are we uh, who, who we may are sessions. and which program part, we provide in our faculty how students learn uh, what students do what the research looks like and many more this will be held in uh, main hall from 9 a.m. to 10, 10 and 30 mm -hmm. and this will include the scholarships opportunities uh, student activities and the co-curriculum to sharpen the soft skill of the students also yes we okay are, so it's a um, lot of yes a lot of things is so really interesting today but so i hope all of you yeah. must be really after that, we have 
uh, some activity to show you about st uh, student life at STM. I mean, STM is Faculty of Chemical Medicine. And miss our student in section of student talk. Okay. Yes. So we look fun, right? Yes. Uh, 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 that is important indeed. We are, it seems we have enough on our plate. But um, I think this is just the first part. Then uh, what else we have for the second part? Because I know that we have uh, will be separate into three groups, right? Yeah, three groups. And I think it, and the big group and three group, right? Today, three group, the first big room is basic science research, right? And big room is number two is preparation, health, and at one data analysis, right? And the last one, number three, is clinical side, uh, sorry, clinical research. Uh, Longer five, can you tell me more the, a little bit how to pick the loom? Yes, definitely. Um, uh, today, uh, because we will divide it into three groups, right? In breakout yeah. room, and then uh, in that time, we will have the like like the pop up window, so everyone can see the pop up window, uh, and then you can click join. You have the, the button join, and then you can choose one group or uh, one breakout room uh, to, to join. But maybe we have to describe uh, the detail of each group, Piart. Uh, for the in detail, this group that I told yes. you to all of the uh, attendance. The first room, basic side, right? And number two, preparation. Yes. And number two, clinical side. Is it clinical research? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So, okay. for the, uh, in case of the attendant change the room, if they change their mind, how they can do? No confirm. Yes. Uh, you can do, they can do. Uh, when you change the, uh, your mind and mm -hmm. you want to change the group, you can uh, press the uh, leave breakout room. Please be avoid, don't, don't press leave, meet, uh, leave meeting because you will exit our meeting, but you can press only leave, uh, leave breakout room and then you go back to the main hall and uh, you can choose another one and then uh, the, I mean the new breakout room and go to the, the new breakout room also. Just, just click leave breakout room and then click join another group. Mm, all right, all right. But the, okay, listen to me, Catherine, please be aware. Click, don't click leave meeting. Please click leave breakout room only, okay? Okay, yeah. don't miss a thing, right? Okay. Okay, so how many? Okay. Okay, the next. Okay, is that amazing Uncle Fang is right now 61. Okay, 61, 61 right now. Okay, um, yeah. I can admit that all of the activity can occur within three hours. So it's okay. Did you did you know the two-day online event will be record? And then after that, we will post the land video clip on YouTube and Facebook, right? That's great, PR. So how can I access this record on Facebook or YouTube? Yes, it's very easy because we already put the link to the uh, entry uh, YouTube and Facebook in the rotating size that you we show you now. Yes, you can check it from from the the slide or from the document that we already sent to your email. We will post the real video 
in YouTube and Facebook, you can check it. Or if you don't know about the link, you can chat to our staff also. Good job, PR. So far, student. Uh, so far, students who want to know what the activities are, the groups are doing, and what did they talk about is as if you have joined uh, that group at all. Okay. Now, and after our, our event finished, we uh, who want to apply, uh, you can go to the website and where we have a provide the current loading site for, okay, for international applicants, anti-applicants, uh, we go to different line. Okay. Okay, for more information, you can uh, you can check for the document that we send to your email again. But I think now it's ready to go for our today events, PR. It's time to go for our events. Are you ready, PR? And are yes, you ready? I'm ready. I'm very exciting right now. It's, I'm ready now. Okay, Let's get so. started. Okay. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Our lecturer and students from MUIC and all distinguished guests who joining the workshop Open House 2021, Faculty of Tropical Medicine. My name is Jalua Ratana Pakdi. And my name is Pichaya Park Prasuklang. We are the MC of today's event. I would like to extend a warm welcome to you all. For this year, we organized this event via online channel due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We hope you all enjoy a virtual tour, play game, enjoy activities, and mm -hmm. get many prizes from us. And you can choose the room touring according to your interest. Okay, upon this time occasion, I would like to invite Assistant Professor Dr. Wirung Rong Zilakun, Deputy Dean for Education and Creative Department, to deliver a welcome speech. Please, teacher. You are muted. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this uh, FTM Virtual Open House 2021. I'm glad to see you all here. Normally, we have open house nearly every year to help uh, those who are interested in higher education to know more about Faculty of Tropical Medicine. But uh, this year, this uh, is very special since uh, we have the COVID-19 situation, so we cannot meet each other and see the real top map. So uh, we turn this to like 100% virtually and uh, thank you to the technology uh, that let us uh, the, have this uh, event occur, okay? And uh, I know everybody is eager to hear from us and uh, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all from various parts of the world, including those who join from abroad and uh, also from Thailand. And a special welcome to the students from Mahidon University International College, or MUIC, who attend this uh, occasion as part of their elective course also. And uh, thanks to Dr. Samon, the course director of, uh, uh, and, and also please convey my thankful to the Dean of uh, MUIC. I hope that you can uh, everyone here that attend this uh, uh, event can get ideas and how to bring your study up to another level to the future and find something that suits uh, uh, for your, your uh, uh, interest. Please take this moment to take questions and uh, like the, what you would like to know. Uh, you will have a chance to do that in, in the uh, second part that uh, we have breakout room as the our MC already announced to, to you. And uh, most of all, I, I, this event will not be able to accomplish if not for the hard works uh, and efforts from all our lecturers of the faculty and uh, our staff. So I would like to thank you all and uh, I would like to officially announce uh, the opening of the event. Thank you. I would like to say thanks to 
uh, Assistant Professor Dr. William Mongjirapun for a warm welcome speech and would like to say thanks to our attendees joining our FTM Open House 2021 today. We will start with a video presentation of introduction to the Faculty of Tropical Medicine to learn insight in our faculty. Please enjoy video. program, students have the opportunity to exchange academic activities The Hospital for Tropical Diseases provides medical
fund their thesis research to meet the international requirement. The MSc student in this program need one year to finish essential knowledge in tropical medicine and start their research journey in second year. We set the program for three years, but some students probably finish by two years. Hello everyone, my name is Abby and I was a student of the MSc program in TropMed. I undertook the MSc program in 2018 and have never looked back since. The program offers a wide range of learning opportunities in the field of tropical medicine covering both hands-on and theoretical aspects. For me, I was drawn to the prospects of broadening my knowledge with the aim of gaining relevant skills and experiences to aid in my pursuit of being a tropical disease expert in the future. TropMed was a good fit because I was able to gain knowledge in many areas ranging from the biology of viruses, bacteria, parasites and insects to the health impacts of diseases and their epidemiology. My first year was filled with classroom-based learning and field sessions, which gave me the opportunity to work with my classmates. These collaborations enabled me to build on soft skills such as teamwork, leadership, and communication. In the second year, the focus was on network and preparing for theses, which allowed me to gain confidence and apply what I have learned in the first year. I enjoyed the program because it enabled me to gain new knowledge and apply what I have learned. Of course, gaining like-minded classmates and labmates from various countries is the icing on the cake and reaching the already delightful experience. I graduated within two years and I'm currently continuing in the PhD program. The pleasant experiences throughout the MSc program and a comfortable learning environment gave me the motivation to continue studying here. Okay, the video you have seen in Master of Science in Tropical Medicine by, by the program director, SSA professor, Dr. Urul Sabhenka. If you are interested in this program, you can contact Bangkok School of Tropical Medicine or everyone called BT, uh, BSTM. And the next program is Doctor of Philosophy in Public Medicine by Assistant Professor Dr. Stan Dian Munsom. Please enjoy the video. Welcome to Doctor of Philosophy program in Tropical Medicine. My name is Stan Dian, the program director and today I will tell you about the overviews of the program. The program aims to produce the globally competent graduates or citizens who will cause the impact uh, to the society in the future. This graduate will be equipped with the knowledge and skill that are required uh, for the problem solving and research in field of tropical medicine. The most important thing we will prepare the student or the graduate who can collaborate and communicate with multidisciplinary experts from different sector and different level properly. And this graduate will serve as a teaching staff, researcher, and tropical medicine expert in university, the research institute, as well as the public health sector. The program offer three plans uh, to fit with the uh, bachelor degree uh, holding applicant, master degree holding applicants, and different uh, plan will have a different requirement for the admission and graduation. And for the teaching learning environment, at the Faculty of Tropical Medicine, there are uh, multi-disciplinary experts from uh, 11 departments and from 
uh, 12 specialized concentration. And this uh, like a start will provide the active and participatory learning uh, environment for the student. Start from the uh, in-person lecture on the fundamental knowledge or e-learning uh, of those uh, knowledge, followed by the uh, active uh, interaction between the uh, student and the lecturer. And those uh, activity will allow uh, the student to discuss, to practice on the, their knowledge and skill. And we also provide the uh, like community for the student to do the uh, final application of their knowledge and skill uh, through the field practicum. And the, after that, we will lead the student to do the research in different fields and start from basic to the applied level. For the basic one, they can choose the department that they would like to do the research with and uh, then they can choose to do the at one one for the applied research. And here, uh, show you the research output of the program graduate. And those are the uh, high quality and high impact, uh, like uh, publications. And the quality of the uh, TC research as well as the graduate also reflects by the many awards at uh, for Mahidol University or uh, forms the like uh, research institute at the national level. And this is the, the recent uh, outstanding TC award of one uh, graduate from the program. And if you are interested to apply to the program, please contact BSTM or uh, the program director at this email. Thank you very much. Welcome back. And how was the clip that you have seen? Uh, the MSc and PhD tropical med medicine is one of the most popular in our faculty. Uh, if you if you want to learn more uh, or information about these two programs, you can access to breakout room one to get more information. And don't forget that we don't only have a doctoral and master program in tropical medicine. We also have so many interesting master degree program in our faculty. Let's see how special is course to be from these video clips. Please come and see the video. This is the interdisciplinary programs that aimed to improve or to develop the healthcare workforce, to have knowledge and skills in biomedical and health informatics. Because our main target students are those who are currently working in healthcare organizations or public health organizations. There's many of them would like to gain more knowledge and skills while still working in their career. So have an online course will provide them an opportunities to let them gain more knowledge and skills while they're still working. At the same time, they still can be able to use the knowledge that they learn from the programs to apply to their own work. Our Biomedical and Health Informatics program offers two degrees, Master of Science in Biomedical and Health Informatics, and graduate diploma in biomedical and health informatics. Our instructors, lecturers come from multidisciplinaries that work together and develop the curriculums and also become the 
uh, lecturer instructors in the programs. Online course is open for everyone who interested to learn about the connection between the health informatics and the technology or the IT. This course is really for anyone who think this is uh, something they're interested to learn but also I think important to remember that they, they need a lot of self-discipline how to learn things online because you have to keep up with the reading assignments, the videos and also all the submit all the assignments on the deadlines. Anyone who interested can learn but they have to be able to do self-study. Because the course is very interesting and is met with my need to study after working. Uh, it's flexible, I can study this program anyway, anytime that I need. It can save my time. I expect and believe that when I finish this course, I can utilize knowledge and skill that I get from the professional lecture from this course. The knowledge I haven't known before about uh, biomedical and health informatics to share or develop a new solution to help the people in one day. I think it's it important now that we think ahead of with the technology and everything, we need to have a modern way of learning how to deliver the knowledge and the lifestyle of people has changed so it's important that we facilitate them make them still able to learn so online is alternative platform for learning the knowledge on something that they're interested to learn like you know about the health informatics and issues in health informatics they also get experiences from doing things online so students need to be able to communicate within the online platform there's a lot of experiences that they can learn I just know that biomedical informatics professionals use information bioinformatics to solve many health problems as a bioinformatician I would like to know how to do that and I hope I will be able to efficiently apply the bioinformatics result for better health practices. I'm also able to repair or port the video when I need some information and I can go back to the previous lesson and study again and again. So it's really suitable for my lifestyle. The course is not only run by many experts from Mahidon University, but it also gives me a chance to make a new connection with multidisciplinary classmates so I can share ideas and exchange information which is beneficial for my career. We expect that the student graduate from our program would be able to apply knowledge and skills learned from our program to improve public health and healthcare practices, including um, how to manage the health information system, how to manage the data, or how to utilize the data that they have to improve healthcare in the countries. Interesting, the video that you have seen is a Master of Science and Diploma in Biomedical and Health Informatics by our program director. It is the most interesting program and very high technology uh, because they have online platform to do the online learning and suitable in nowadays and the new normal. Uh, these two programs will be are in the breakout room too about population health and advanced data analysis. If you are interested in these two programs, you can go to the breakout room too uh, to get more information. For the next program is Master uh, of Science in School Health by the Program Director, Associate Professor Dr. Suwadi Borakunthise. Please enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to the video to introduce the overall pictures of the Master of Science program in Sukun Health. This program is an international program of the Faculty of Tropical Medicine, Mahidon University. Our program aims to provide health professionals, teachers, social work personnel a unique chance to specialize in health promotion in school setting by developing the knowledge and skill in common and important disease prevention and control school environment, sanitation, and hygiene management. 
nutrition screening and assessment, proper nutrition for school children, activities or program development for physical and psychosocial support. This includes the knowledge and skill in school health-based research to fortify children and youth in physical, mental, and spiritual development, which are essential factors for the society and the mankind. Our program offers two plans of study. Plan A2 is a two-year program with thesis, and Plan B that take one year of study period with thematic paper. During study in this program, the student will have the opportunity to visit the school that exhibit the best practice in various aspects of school health paradigm, such as a school model for special education for disabilities and talented, a school model for mental health development preparations and basic safety school in preschool children, a school model for supporting the mental health problems behavioral interventions and school health services that explicit the engagement of the student in the school. Besides, few practicum is designed to provide a practice experience on school health problem identifications, analysis and management. We expect that the graduate of our program would be able to apply the knowledge, skill and experience to promote a healthy school climate by preventing and controlling important disease physical, chemical, biological, and psychosocial health risks among the children and adolescents in the educational sectors for the development of the healthy and productive citizens of the future generation. For more information, please visit the website of the BSTM as shown in the slide. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome back everyone and welcome new welcome for the new attendance today uh, the new uh, the video you have seen in master of science in school hotel the program is basic side if you are interesting uh, you can go to breakout room number one to get more information okay all of you already know our phd and msc program right and we also have taught in uh, clinical medicine that you learn about the tropical diseases. Please see the detail for those video clips. Please enjoy the video. The Graduate Diploma in Tropical Medicine and Hygiene has been with the Faculty of Tropical Medicine since the faculty's establishment, which is back to 1960, almost 60 years ago. Objective of the programs would be to enhance or supplement the medical doctor with the theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge on tropical diseases and we also offer the clinical experiences to the medical doctors, how to diagnose, how to deal with the disease, how to treat, and to suggest prevention and control. DTM and EDGE is a six month course. In addition to that, not only lecture laboratories, we take them to the field, the field practice one, which would be very useful to the student, especially the foreign student. They learn health system in Thailand from the provincial hospital. take them to the Buffalo schools. To see the lifestyle of the Thai farmers and see how the disease are transmitted. So that's the plus of being with DTM and H course.
This afternoon, we are here to do a health checkup for the children here. All the children, they are students, and we do like a um, general health checkup for them. Well, this field trip is very, very great that we can apply our DTM and H course. It's like um, we can check for ectoparasite, like um, the lies on the page, on the children, and also other general health checkup. As we know, Mahidon University have faculty of tropical medicine and this is the tropical area. So, and also this course is opened over 50 years ago and it's quite famous all around uh, Asia. So I decided to study um, here because one is a famous university and um, it's also the in tropical country so I can experience various tropical diseases. Some diseases I cannot see in my country. Okay, the video you have seen is Diploma in Tropical Medicine and Hygiene. It's a program about clinical research. Uh, you can go to the breakout tree today for more information. For the next program is Master of Clinical Tropical Medicine. Okay, please enjoy the video. Have There are uh, many areas of the world where infections are the most important threat. They've become ill with an infection. It might be dengue, uh, it might be scrub typhus, it might be something which we don't yet know about. And that's our role, is to improve the treatment of infections. And to do that, we need to have young doctors who are interested in infectious diseases. It's a fascinating field but also interested in a career doing clinical research. And one of the important courses that the Faculty of Tropical Medicine has put in place to try to uh, build career options for young doctors is the Masters in Clinical Tropical Medicine. Students of the program are medical doctors or physicians. So actually our program aims to equip them to be an expert in tropical diseases and also a good researcher. Our lecturers are researchers who work in the real field, especially in the top five tropical diseases in Thailand. Uh, that's including malaria, dengue infection, melodiosis, leptospirosis, and uh, rickettsiosis. That's a very variable resources. We also have uh, patients for students to study this. So that's a very good magnet to draw students from all over the world to come to study with us, to learn and share from the expert in the field as a first-hand experiences. We provide all the in-depth knowledge in tropical diseases worldwide, not only in Southeast Asia, but also in other parts of the world. Our teaching have variety of activities which all students have to get through this. Uh, for example, we have ward round and uh, bedside teaching so they can see the real patients either in our hospital or up countries. We have several field trips and every student have to uh, conduct the research of their own uh, starting from the uh, very beginning. So that students can have the real experience with what they will face when they graduate and uh, go back to their countries. And finally, they have to publish or present their work in international publications. That's the ultimate goal of uh, every student have to uh, do that. After graduate, our students can 
uh, work in any organizations all over the world in which uh, they can also take care of the patients or in take part of the policy makers or uh, conduct a new knowledge in the, the tropical diseases. The, the Faculty of Tropical Medicine here at Mahidong combines very well the practical aspects of medicines. I think for a medical professional who aims uh, to work in tropics or even back home but dealing with tropical diseases, um, this is a hugely uh, enriching and experience that, that is, is very um, essential for, for the future career. Okay, the video you have seen is this the program about clinical research. You can go to breakout number three for more information. And the next program is Doctor of Philosophy in Clinical Tropical Medicine. Please enjoy the video class. Hello, Swadi Krab. Welcome everyone to short video presentation for program Doctor of Philosophy in Clinical Tropical Medicine. Faculty of Tropical Medicine, Mahidol University. The program is a PhD program, telemed for expert who individual doctor who wanted to do clinical research in tropical medicine. We guarantee real experience from start planning the clinical research, conducting clinical research, conducting clinical trial until preparation of the manuscript and published research work in tropical medicine related field. PhD in clinical tropical medicine start from 1992 and open regularly until now. This year, we proudly present program to submit for a UNQA accreditation and evaluation. What we teach medical graduate to become an expert doctor in clinical tropical medicine and to expert in research and to have a strong ethics and to have a strong communication skills. How we teach, we tailor made the teaching experience for each individual student. We have a group discussion. We have an experience sharing with the student and staff. We also have a hand-on session which students sit together with an expert and doing the things together. The program PhD in Clinical Tropical Medicine have a two tracks which can lead to Doctor of Philosophy within three to five years in both track. The first track we call research only track. This is designed for doctor who have some experience in research. Come and join us and do the intensive research work and publish work and graduate. This route can be very short but yet very intensive hard work needed. Don't worry for those who don't have a research experience or have a little research experience. We also have a track that have a coursework for the first year. This is, we want to build a strong clinical tropical medicine knowledge and research knowledge before entering intensive research work in the second year. Our area of research including the problem that arise in tropical diseases such as malaria, dengue, scrap, HIV, tuberculosis, melioidosis, or COVID-19. We have 31 students from 11 countries. 19 were graduated and 12 is ongoing. We wanted to build a strong international collaboration from bench to bedside and from bedside back to bench. From classroom to international symposium, we encourage our, our, our students to present their work in international symposium. Not only academic part, we also have a strong alumni network relationship. We have alumni invitation every year to present their research work and to present their interesting case in joint international tropical medicine meeting yearly. 
We also have a strong alumni activity. They organize a short course in tropical medicine every year. Come back and see the case in tropical diseases in our hospital. We also have many publications for our students in tropical medicine field that many of them contribute to policy changing, such as in malaria and dengue. This is some example of a research from our students and from our alumni. We wanted to emphasize that after students graduate from the program, they're still working in the research field and producing many, many of publications related in tropical diseases field. Thank you. Kap kun krap. We're looking forward to see you soon. Kap kun krap. Thank you for watching our three programs video presentation about uh, clinical medicine and they are the very popular and famous program. We have a lot of uh, international students uh, learning at, uh, in, in these three programs. Uh, students can learn tropical disease, diseases from uh, real patients and to be a good researcher and expertise in tropical disease. Uh, and we have another one program left that is uh, Master of Clinical Tropical Pediatrics. Uh, this is program in one of the most interesting program in clinical and research, knowledge and skills on tropical pediatrics. Uh, we don't have the video to show you today, but uh, if you are interested in this program, you can get more information in the breakout room number three today. And can I take a break? Uh, if the new coming uh, who are who already uh, registered to to the today events is okay, but I think some people still not uh, registered to our event yet. So I already sent the link to the Zoom meeting chat. You can check the link for registration today by the chat that I sent to you all. Okay. Uh, Right now, I think I would love to see how much fun the lifestyle of the students stu studying at our faculty can be and what activities do they do. You can watch this uh, from the video clip that we will show you right now. Please enjoy the video. สวัสดีครับพี่เปมครับเราสองคนเป็นนักศึกษาหาวิทยาลัยพิดลคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนค่ะวันนี้นะคะพี่จะขาค่ะพาน้องๆไปเยี่ยมชมคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนกันนะคะน้องๆอาจจะไม่รู้จักว่าคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนคืออะไรเพราะว่าคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนเปิดสอนในระดับปริญญาโทและเอกนี่ค่ะใช่แล้วครับพี่เจสําหรับคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนนะครับเป็นคณะที่จะตั้งขึ้นเพื่อศึกษาโรคต่างๆในเขตร้อนครับเช่นโรคมาลาเรียโรคไข้เลือดออกหรือแม้กระทั่งโรคติดเชื้อต่างๆครับค่ะและสําหรับภาควิชาของเราประกอบด้วยเอกภาควิชาด้วยกันนะคะซึ่งในแต่ละภาควิชาค่ะจะมุ่งเน้นการรักษาในโรคเขตร้อนเฉพาะด้านและในคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนนะคะยังมีองค์กรความร่วมมือระหว่างประเทศอีกมากมายเลยค่ะใช่แล้วครับสําหรับการเรียนการสอนของคณะของเรานะครับมีแบ่งเป็นสองส่วนด้วยกันครับคือส่วนที่เป็นคอร์สเวิร์กนะครับในส่วนนี้น้องๆก็จะได้เรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับวิชาพื้นฐานทั้งหมดของโลกเขตร้อนครับซึ่งการเรียนการสอนนี้ครับพี่เจสครับก็จะรวมไปถึงการบรรยายในห้องเรียนครับและการลงมือปฏิบัติจริงครับในภาคสนามอีกด้วยครับพี่เจสครับค่ะและในส่วนที่2นะคะพี่เจมคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนยังมุ่งเน้นในส่วนของการทํางานวิจัยค่ะซึ่งงานวิจัยนะคะจะก็จะควบคุมในเรื่องของ4แฟกเตอร์ด้วยกันก็คือโฮสต์พาร์ทเจนและใช่แล้วครับเพื่อให้น้องๆมีความเข้าใจและรู้จักคณะของเรามากยิ่งขึ้นนะครับนอกจากพี่ทั้งสองคนแล้วก็ยังมีพี่ๆคนอื่นอีกนะครับที่จะร่วมแบ่งปันและบอกเล่าเกี่ยวกับ4แฟกเตอร์นั้นว่ามีความเกี่ยวข้องกับงานวิจัยของเราอย่างไรบ้างครับพี่เจสครับค่ะถ้าอย่างนั้นค่ะพร้อมกันแล้วใช่ไหมคะถ้างั้นไปกันเลยครับสว
ดีค่ะพี่แพลวค่ะโพสนะคะโพสคืออะไรโพสก็คือแหล่งที่อยู่อาศัยของเชื้อโรคโดยที่เชื้อโรคเหล่านั้นนะคะสามารถเจริญเติบโตพัฒนาไปได้โดยไม่ทําให้สิ่งมีชีวิตตายค่ะยกตัวอย่างเช่นคนสัตว์หรือว่า,มาแมลงต่างๆนะคะงานวิจัยในโฮสส่วนใหญ่ก็จะเป็นการศึกษาทางพยาธิวิทยาก็คือดูความผิดปกติที่เกิดขึ้นของโรคนั้นๆโดยใช้เซลล์หรือว่าสัตว์ทดลองเป็นโมเดลในการศึกษาค่ะนอกจากนี้นะคะก็ยังมีการคิดวิเคราะห์วิจัยพัฒนาแล้วก็หาวัคซีนใหม่ๆเพื่อที่จะมาใช้ในการรักษาโรคต่างๆอีกด้วยค่ะค่ะพี่โบค่ะค่ะการศึกษาทางด้านพาราเจนหรือว่าเชื้อนะคะเราก็ขอแบ่งออกเป็น2ระดับใหญ่ๆแล้วกันเนาะก็คือ 1. ก็คือการศึกษาระดับสารพันธุกรรมค่ะแล้วก็2ก็คือการศึกษาระดับโปรตีนก็ขอยกตัวอย่างนะคะอย่างเช่นถ้าเกิดมันมีเชื้อด้วยยาเกิดขึ้นอย่างเงี้ยค่ะเราก็สามารถศึกษาในระดับสารพันธุกรรมก็คือว่ามันอาจจะมีการเปลี่ยนแปลงของระดับ DNA ที่เปลี่ยนไปของเชื้อเนื่องจากเชื้อเนี่ยมันต้องการที่จะอัดแอปตัวเองเพื่อที่จะอยู่รอดอจากการยับยั้งของยาอย่างเงี้ยค่ะซึ่งการเปลี่ยนแปลงไปของระดับ DNA เนี่ยมันก็จะไปส่งผลต่อการถอดรหัสแล้วก็แปลงรหัสไปเป็นโปรตีนเนาะซึ่งโปรตีนชนิดนั้นนะคะถ้าสมมติว่ามันไปเป็นดักทาร์เก็ตแล้วมันมีหน้าตาที่เปลี่ยนแปลงไปเนี่ยมันก็จะมีผลทําให้ยาเนี่ยไม่สามารถไปรีแอคกับเชื้อได้โดยตรงเนี้ยค่ะการศึกษาทางด้านเนี้ยเราก็สามารถนํามาพัฒนายาเพื่อที่จะไปยับยั้งแล้วก็ไปหยุดยั้งการเจริญเติบโตของเชื้อให้มีประสิทธิภาพดียิ่งขึ้นค่ะนอกจากนี้นะคะเราก็มีการศึกษาเกี่ยวกับกลไกการเกิดพยาธิสภาพของเชื้อเพราะว่าเชื้อแต่ละเชื้อเนี่ยค่ะมันก็จะมีวอลูเลนแฟกเตอร์ที่ก่อให้เกิดโรคหรือพยาธิสภาพในคนเนี่ยที่แตกต่างกันออกไปการศึกษาในส่วนตรงนี้ค่ะก็มุ่งเน้นที่จะพัฒนาทางด้านการวินิจฉัยการผลิตพัฒนายาแล้วก็การผลิตวัคซีนให้มีประสิทธิภาพได้ดียิ่งขึ้นค่ะสวัสดีครับพี่ต่อครับภาควิชากีตาวิทยาการแพทย์ของเรานะครับเป็น1ใน5ภาควิชาที่ก่อตั้งพร้อมกับคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เขตร้อนแล้วเราก็ยังมีความภาคภูมิใจที่ว่าเรามีสถานะเป็นภาควิชาแห่งเดียวในประเทศไทยในขณะที่สถาบันอื่นเป็นเพียงแค่ส่วนหนึ่งของภาควิชาประสิทธิทยาเท่านั้นครับสำหรับงานวิจัยของภาควิชาของเรานะครับจะมีการลงพื้นที่ในการสํารวจมแมลงพาหะหลังจากนั้นจะเก็บตัวอย่างเพื่อมาเพาะเลี้ยงในห้องปฏิบัติการและจะนํามาทดสอบความใบต่อยาฆ่า,มาแมลงครับนอกจากนี้เรายังมีงานวิจัยที่เกี่ยวข้องกับการเฝ้าระวังการระบาดที่เกี่ยวกับโรคทางจิตวิทยานะครับนอกจากนี้นะครับเรายังมีงานวิจัยทางด้านชีวโมเลกุลที่เกี่ยวข้องกับการทำ DNA บาร์โค้ดการใช้เทคนิคทางชีวโมเลกุลในการจำแนกสายพันธุ์มแมลงพาหะชนิดต่างๆนะครับรวมไปถึงการหาโปรตีนชนิดใหม่ๆในการพัฒนาไปเป็นวัคซีนต่อไปในอนาคตนะครับสวัสดีครับพี่บอมครับถ้าเราจะจัดการกับปัญหาโรคติดเชื้อนะครับปัจจัยทางด้านสิ่งแวดล้อมเช่นสภาพอากาศพฤติกรรมของคนในสังคมระบบสาธารณูปโภคต่างๆที่ส่งผลต่อการเกิดโรคก็เป็นปัจจัยหนึ่งที่เราไม่สามารถมองข้ามได้เลยนะครับงานวิจัยทางด้านสิ่งแวดล้อมนะครับก็จะเป็นการศึกษาในด้านพฤติกรรมของคนซึ่งเราจะเก็บข้อมูลเชิงระบาดวิทยาเช่นการเก็บแบบสอบถามการสัมภาษณ์ในกลุ่มประชากรที่เราสนใจนะครับและอีกด้านหนึ่งก็จะเป็นการเก็บตัวอย่างจากสิ่งแวดล้อมยกตัวอย่างเช่นอุณหภูมิแสงเสียงนะครับซึ่งเราจะใช้เครื่องมือชนิดพิเศษในการเก็บตัวอย่างเหล่านี้นะครับเช่นเครื่องมือวัดความเข้มข้นของแสงความเข้มข้นของเสียงอุณหภูมิเป็นต้นนะครับซึ่งข้อมูลต่างๆข้างต้นนะครับเราจะเก็บมาและนํามาวิเคราะห์โดยใช้หลักการทางสถิติซึ่งเป้าหมายหลักๆของงานวิจัยในด้านนี้นะครับเพื่อใช้ในการชี้แนะแนวทางในการกําหนดกลยุทธ์วางแผนงานป้องกันปัญหาทางด้านสาธารณสุขนั่นไงล่ะครับครับโลกของเรานะครับมีการเปลี่ยนแปลงอย่างรวดเร็วครับการเปลี่ยนแปลงของสภาพสิ่งแวดล้อมล้วนส่งผลกระทบต่อการแพร่ระบาดของเชื้อโรคครับประกอบกับปัจจุบันครับการคมนาคมขนส่งล้วนมีความสะดวกและรวดเร็วมากยิ่งขึ้นครับ
ดังนั้นการศึกษาวิจัยเพื่อให้รู้เท่าทันโลกที่มีการเปลี่ยนแปลงอย่างรวดเร็วครับจึงเป็นสิ่งสําคัญครับพี่เจษครับใช่แล้วค่ะและสําหรับน้องๆคนไหนนะคะที่สนใจในการศึกษาต่อระดับปริญญาโทและปริญญาเอกนะคะคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เทร้อนค่ะก็เป็นอีกหนึ่งคณะนะคะที่น่าสนใจมากๆถ้าน้องๆคนไหนสนใจนะคะสามารถเข้าไปศึกษารายละเอียดเรื่องของการเปิดรับสมัครงานวิจัยหรือทุนการศึกษาได้ตามเว็บไซต์ของคณะวิทยาศาสตร์เทร้อนขึ้นตามอยู่ด้านล่างนี้ค่ะครับสำหรับน้องๆปริญญาตรีคนไหนนะครับที่กําลังมองหาสถานที่ฝึกงานหรือน้องๆอยากต้องการเรียนรู้หรือพัฒนาทักษะด้านห้องปฏิบัติการหรืองานวิจัยนะครับน้องๆก็สามารถติดต่อเข้ามาที่คณะของเราได้เลยครับใช่ค่ะรับรองว่าน้องๆนะคะพี่เบมต้องได้รับทั้งความรู้ประสบการณ์นะคะจากพี่ๆเพื่อนๆน้องๆอาจารย์นะคะไปอย่างแน่นอนค่ะสําหรับวันนี้ค่ะก็คงต้องขอบอกลาไปก่อนนะคะหมดหน้าที่ของเราสองคนแล้วค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับเวลคัมแบ็กอีกแล้วในเอ่ออีกนี่คิดอยู่ว่าสิ่งโมเมนต์นั่นก็คือเพียงแค่ภาพของสิ่งที่มีอยู่ที่นี่ดังนั้นเราจะขอเชิญนักเรียนทุกคนมาแสดงความสุขและความสุขของพวกเราในช่วงเวลาที่ดีโอเคขอบคุณครับที่นี่ที่นี่ค่ะอ่าอ่าขอบคุณครับมากที่ติดตามชั้นไอติงอัมกอยงจะเป็นคนที่ดีที่สุดในวันนี้อ่าวันนี้สถานการณ์ของฉันก็อยากให้ทุ
you talk about host in the in, in the in the video clip right if you remember that that video clip was done a, a little while ago right you talk about host so it does it mean your project now is related to working around the host um, factor actually um my project is not on the host but i'm working on the parasite much more but all right I, yeah that's it this is an interesting research so how how so you've been doing this research for a while you think um uh, after your phd you can use uh, what you have learned from the from from this uh, research topic in the future yes uh for for now i'm working on the susceptibility of the drug that affect on the the vector and the parasite so i i will see if it have the any effect on the parasite or not so um i during the the study i gain a lot of knowledge that i can apply to the um into the future i mean when, because when i reading or doing the literature review i i see a lot of the research in the right. field not just so, only the in vitro level but also in the clinical right trial. so it sounds sounds like you want to be a researcher in the future is that right <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm searching for now but maybe if i <laughs> have any opportunity <laughs> yes there's a lot of opportunity for postgraduates i mean for for people who who've done the the research uh, particularly in, on the tropical medicine i think there's a, a lot of opportunities to go around the world and do the uh, tropical medicine because we are like you know in the actual areas with a lot of disease tropical diseases so we have the advantage of that so i wish you luck for that Prel. um can i mm -hmm. ask you one other question just uh something a little bit less serious but uh something on you know in general what was the uh what kind of support you appreciate most getting from the faculty what kind of the support uh i i actually appreciate about the support system from the school office you know um the school office helping me a lot to navigate my phd application or studying that um they try to keep me on tech all the time i mean when for the document or everything and apart from that the I I really appreciate about the the OIS chat and for the office of research service. Um, this office also helped me to coordinate and support the research activity. Actually, I'm the student, but uh, this office also that have some training for students as well. So it's really useful for students in the research field. Right. Okay. Um, maybe uh, for apart from Prel, can I see who else is our alumni? Do we have Win with us? Do we have Dr. Win? Yes, again, I'm on the um, on the line. Okay, hello. Dr. Win. Hello, uh, Dr. Win is uh, maybe Dr. Win can introduce yourself a little bit and what what was the program that you did at the Faculty of Tropical Medicine. Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, Jen Pan, for inviting to this open house. I'm very happy to see very fresh faces. Um, so I'm originally from Myanmar, and I study um, master in biomedical health informatics from the Faculty of Tropmed in 2015, and graduated around 2017. And my thesis was focused on the mathematical modeling of the um, multi-drug resistant tuberculosis treatment, and also work with the Jen Pan as well. Um, and then I'm currently uh, studying PhD at the uh, University of New South Wales in Sydney and in Australia. And my um, background is from clinical. So I was basically a medical doctor and I do epidemiology and clinical research at the moment. Yeah. Right, right. Thank you very much. Yes, I remember you being, being very passionate to do the work on the TB research. So I think I think one important thing, I don't know whether you agree with me, but I think one important thing is to choose the topics of study that's something that you passion and you also did some work and had experience on the TB uh, clinics, right? Yes, um, I think I'd I be uh, a little bit struggle at the very beginning in choosing the topic, mm. like Ajahn said. So uh, we have to do the thesis. So we have um, different exposures or different techniques uh, such as um, machine learning and also 
some other GIS program, uh, programs as well. And then I then I picked the mathematical modeling because I found it really interesting in terms of predicting the future by using the algorithms. And also um, choosing the TB topics because of previous exposure, uh, working as a uh, clinician at the TB clinics and HIV clinic. So it made me a little bit more passionate about having these um, treatment interventions, um, uh, prediction of treatment interventions. Yes. Um, and yeah. also uh, it's very um, interesting to work with a Japan and also um, other collaborators who's very supportive um, in terms of everything. And we spent almost more than three years to get published, but at least we have to make it um, to the journey. So yeah, very uh, fortunate for that. Yes, I, I agree. It feels like a running a marathon to try to get something published, especially exactly. when, uh, when the student has already left and, you know, moved on and have a job. So, but it's a good opportunity to get, uh, keep in touch with each other as well. So students become, you know, a network of the work and the research in the, in the future. So we, you know, we don't uh, always static with the same relationship as student and teacher, but we move on and become like a researcher in the same network. So thank you very much, Dr. Wynn, for joining us today. So. Um, um, now I'd like to move on to see if there are some current students, do we hear from some current students uh, on the aspect of the student support? Um, do we have Charlene? Charlene? Is Charlene still around? I know you have to uh, uh, appoint it for the vaccination today, so I'm not sure whether Charlene can join us. Or do we have some other students on the scholarship? It will be hard for me to try to look through the name uh, on, uh, on those hundreds. I don't think Charlene is joining. Uh, I think she joined for a while, uh, but might have left. I think uh, you will get to talk to a lot of students more in the in the uh, breakout rooms. There will be a lot of students. Um, if not, um, I don't have a, a lot of time, but I like to First, maybe move on to my slide to talk a little bit uh, uh, about Dr. the. Uh, I'm Dr. Pochini. May I? Oh, start okay. a little bit? I can just start my video. Okay. Uh, actually, I have exposed to. Uh, sorry, I cannot switch on the video, so I can speak like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. That's important. I appreciate our alumni who came back to talk to us, and I'm very happy. Yeah. So much for that, and. I exposed to Prao, you know that um, Prao have done the, the laboratory level trial, which is very deep in the detail of the drug resistance and so many things that may relate it to the clinical. I think we lost her. She, she probably will come back to uh... Yeah. to be the test testimony for you know our student um shall i shall i first do the slide okay. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. To just yeah i'm back okay please oh, okay. unfortunately please it's just ahead. a very first sentence that uh when um prayer have done the research it's not just really the PO science research, it's mixed with the clinical from the beginning. So it is very, very nice shaping up by many disciplines from the faculty. So a lot of physicians, a lot of PK people and entomologists and a lot of laboratory people come to, to discuss with PEO. And I really, really impressed with that. So just want to, to comment that we have everything in place to help you from the beginning, if it is not uh, like uh, the, the, the POSI stuff. Yeah, sounds like she definitely learned more, just uh, learn more than just the, the research, but also the, the working process with the, a lot of people in the team. 
Okay, thank you, thank you, Ajahn Pochini, for uh, giving us uh, further information on you know uh, students learning there. Now, I would like to quickly move on to the student supports because I think a lot of people may be wondering what kind of supports the, the faculty can give to the student. So I'm going to touch on the four aspects of the support, right? So I think a lot of students are a, little, a bit worried about the financial uh, situation and you know, uh, uh, actually going on to do the postgraduate is kind of uh, investment for life for a lot of people, right? So is uh, for that investment, maybe you, you would need a little bit of support and we understand that. So the faculty together with the University of Mahidon, we try to provide some uh, scholarships to support our students as much as we can, right? So the kind of scholarship will cover things like tuition fee, the living expense, including you know the uh, stipends or the uh, some of the scholarship give you some uh, accommodation uh, expense as well. Apart from uh, you know the basic needs, we also have a uh, scholarship that provide you opportunity to go into a conference to present your work, which is a important part of gaining the experience being a postgraduate. We have inbound outbound scholarships where uh, we encourage our students to spend time in another lab, hopefully abroad, right? So that you learn different styles of working. When you uh, finish, you go out there, you don't get shocked with you know, the working environment. So we have that inbound outbound. Um, for the MSc and the PhD, uh, most programs require that you publish publication. Publication can be quite expensive if you have um, exposed to that. So the faculty does provide uh, uh, support on the publication fee of the students and of uh, lecturers. So you don't have to worry on that part. And then on the special events like, you know, help, need help on the COVID uh, impact, for example, the faculty and the university have, you can apply for a little money to support uh, the, the difficult time during the, the, the pandemic, for example, something like that. So um, that's on the scholarship. On the student welfare, on, on, the, on the other hand, very important that you, ha you are happy when you are studying with us, right? So uh, some people come in with a little bit nervous about, you know, first time uh, doing, first time being in, in uh, this faculty and not knowing people and not quite sure what, uh, what tracks or uh, concentrations of, of uh, research that you want to do. So we provide some uh, advice. We have advisory uh, panels that can help provide the first year student with support. So you can consult on these uh, advisory panels. We assign them uh, student one-to-one, -one, right? So you can talk to at least advisory panels before you are assigned mm -hmm. to your research advisor in the second year. So these are people that uh, volunteer to help new students uh, establish themselves in the in their study. We have healthcare services, travel clinics. If you need to travel, you need to consult on the what kind of vaccine or and drugs that you need to prepare. So you can ask. These are all based in the hospital within the faculty. We have also mental health support for some students who feel a bit depressed. Uh, we 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 check and see whether we can put you onto the one to one help with the Ajahn who's very kindly volunteer to help with this part of the issue for the students, okay? Not just learning academics is that important, but also while you are as a postgraduate study soft skill, soft skill is very important. This has been proven. We have asked a lot of employees, you know, what do they want from our graduates? Apart from the knowledge on the tropical medicine, if, if that is related to the work, soft skill is the most important thing when you go out there to work, especially things like leadership, creativity, and, you know, team working, for example. So Mahi don't see the importance of soft skill. We also see the importance of soft skill. So you see there's a lot of courses that you can take. 
either face to face by the faculty or by the university. Also online courses like Coursera, and now we're moving on to the LinkedIn, LinkedIn learning. So you get to explore whatever you're interested in out there. You can do those courses for free. Right, so that's a that's great for being a student. We have a we try to do a lot of student activities, but as you know, in these past two years, it has been not so easy to do the big activities. But we try to get our students together to do activities because we know this is important for students to to get to know each other more, to get to know the lecturers and staff. So we we try to do that, and we also have exchange programs where people. Get uh, students get opportunity to go and uh, go abroad to to learn uh, to live with other people uh, in the different country to learn their culture, for example. And finally, just the you know physical things like thing around the the faculty. We, the faculty is in the middle of the town, so it's very easy to access to the sky train to uh, we don't be by the victory victory morning. So it's like a central part of Bangkok. We so uh, we have the lab facilities, which I'm I believe Ajahn Chet Sumon will talk more about that. We have e journals that you know people don't really go much to the library these days, but we have the library. And we also have e journals that you can access to all the journals that are uh, available there. We have student room, praying room, fitness, and the IT support who help you if your computer is broken, for example. So I think I think it's not bad being uh, a student at FTM. I think we have uh, tried to support you. And more detail on the scholarship on the this one is on the Thai students. You can see some of the scholarship provided for different programs here. Also for the non-Thai students, we also have uh, some scholarships that provide it to the non-foreign uh, student, uh, right? So these details will be put in the website. Uh, I'm sure you have the link that you can uh, go into the website uh, given by the BSTM, the Bangkok School of Tropical Medicine. So I will uh, not go into detail of this. And uh, this is just one most recent um, scholarship that for the uh, master degree students, uh, this um, this scholarship still open uh, for application. Um, so this is the Sylvia Meek from the Malaria Consortium scholarship, full scholarship given for two years doing a master's degree with the condition that students who are interested in entomology re uh, research uh, can apply for this scholarship. So if anyone interested to learn more about entomology, about vectors, insects, then this may be something that you want to look at. Apart from that, our staff, our lecturers, we um, we are very, um, we do a lot of research. So uh, a lot of staff will have uh, their research grants, some of which can be provided to support students for their study. These are list of um, agencies that provide uh, research grants and a lot of our lecturers have those. So I would say if you're interested in topics of research, try to look for a person who may be as suitable for as an advisor and contact them because may, they may have called some of these uh, scholarships that can support you as well, right? So not always have to use the student support. Student uh, Lecturers can also have support for the student. I think that's the end of um, the support on my part. Um, uh, I don't. I still don't see any questions uh, in the chat. Um, so if you think of some question, you can you can ask more question if you like, uh, and we will try to provide you some answer, even if not on the on the presentation. Okay. Thank you very much. Maybe I hand it over to Art or Kao Fang first. Yes. Um. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Assistant Professor Vishya Pangam, Assistant Dean for Student Affairs, talking about scholarship op uh, opportunity, refer and soft skill. And thank you so much for the our student and alumni as well. So the next is I would like to invite Dr. Jesmond Prasad, our 
they put it due for listeners talking about central laboratory facility and lizard opportunity. Please, teacher. Hi, good morning. Um, can you all see the slide, right? So thank you to Dr. Wong for helping me sharing the slide. Um, as a deputy dean for research, I'm excited to talk about the resource and research uh, today. So besides the uh, general equipment in terms of the central uh, laboratory, we also have a uh, high-end uh, equipment that's suitable uh, for all of the students and the staff to do all kinds of uh, research at a, at a high uh, standard level, including mass spectrophotometry, the confocal microscope, the GCMS, and the HPLC, which is the basic equipment for cellular analysis, cell base <clears throat> study, the protein, or even the DNA and RNA. Next slide, please. So uh, these equipment are located uh, at the hospital building on seven, eight, and ninth floor that uh, all the students and staff uh, can use, you know, through the uh, central equipment uh, unit management system. Um, besides the equipment, uh, we're proud to say that uh, among uh, all faculty at Mahidol University, we have uh, the biggest BSL3 laboratory. For those of you that may not familiar with, this is the laboratory with the biosafety level three that we require to do for many uh, disease that have uh, uh, impact or high impact or dangerous to uh, people, including the SARS-CoV-2 now that we are uh, handling with. This uh, facility will uh, officially open to all the students and staff, hopefully by uh, within this year. Next. Besides the equipment and uh, the high-end laboratory, we also have small animal uh, facility, which uh, provide the service to students and to all uh, faculties that uh, do the experiment required to use the small animal. We have only small, uh, small animal only. For example, like mouse, rat, and guinea pig, but this is enough for the basic uh, experiment to validate the drug or new compounds or even try the vaccine. I'm going to touch a little bit on the uh, center of excellence that we have. Uh, we have one of the center of excellence that we have is center of excellence for malaria and uh, malaria, um, including white wax that we uh, handle. So uh, the research at the uh, MBRU or Mahidon Ryback Research, we focus on the basic lab until to get the product into the field. That's why we have the motto for putting malaria research before uh, be beyond the lab. Our project, uh, including epidemiology study to understand the disease transmission that involve with the population base, try to understand the basic biology of the parasite and we can use the advanced technique to uh, come up with better drug, better diagnosis, or better vaccine. And then we can evaluate all the new tools that are also available. We also have the uh, insectary or mosquito colony that can be used as the uh, insect experiment to understand the basic biology. Next slide, please. So uh, our lab, and feel, you know, connect together. So we work in the lab, implement the tool in the field, and we also uh, understand the population based on the disease in the field and bring those questions back to the lab. The field site uh, for our study located along the, the Thai uh, borders from the north to the south and also the northeast. Next. So uh, as I said, the experimental animal uh, a mosquito is very useful for many experiments that we conduct. And these uh, help us to do a lot more instead of catching the mosquito in the field, right? So we have our own mosquito try to feed on the patient blood and understand the biology of the transmission, can use the parasite for liver state study, use uh, 
So uh, other uh, modern technology to understand the biomarker that related to the disease and to the, the vector biology. And these also uh, help us to uh, do a lot more collaboration with uh, all researchers around the world. Next slide, please. So um, we study all the basic uh, uh, biology in the blood stage, and we can handle all species of human malaria that occur in Thailand. Uh, for those of you that may not know, we have five species that infect uh, human population in Thailand. Next slide, please. Um, the one that we focus the most is the liver state because that the target uh, that that the big gap for malaria on uh, malaria research on vivax and we can use either in vitro uh, human liver cell to study this parasite or use the humanized mice which is an animal model. Next one. Yep. So for in vitro we have the system that can do high throughput analysis of the. Uh, the parasite development. Next one. For in vivo, instead of study the parasite in, in human liver, which is very, diff, uh, very different than the in vitro system, and we cannot study this in real human. So there are uh, human eye mice uh, technology that come in. So these mice that you saw in the, that you see in the picture uh, carry the human liver cell. So we can grow the parasite in these mice and uh, further study for drug or for vaccine. Next. Um, we bring the basic knowledge or the new technology on uh, stem cell culture, uh, immunomotorized um, erythroid cell to produce our own red cell, our own human red cell which can support uh, more, more parasite development in vitro, which some of the parasite, you cannot just simply use our blood that we uh, collect from individual one. So that, that means use the basic knowledge, adapt to, to be more uh, practical in the lab. And this product, if a uh, success, it can be uh, commercially available. So it's go to the innovation phase. Next one. Next one. And besides the basic lab, the implementation in the field, we also involved with the clinical study. So we are part of a malaria infection study in Thailand. So this is a clinical type that instead of uh, waiting to get the patient and try the new drug or vaccine, we induce infection in our volunteer. So we can validate the new vaccine or drug for YVAC. So we are one of, uh, this is the first center, this is the first try uh, for this type in Asia. Next one. Um, <clears throat> we also have the project involved with vaccine development for malaria and we focus on the, the liver state, the pre-erythrocytic stage and also the transmission stage. Next. Current uh, vaccine project that we are uh, funded by the uh, funders from the Japan society is the vaccine against the uh, malaria from the human to the mosquito or transmission blocking vaccine. This vaccine has, uh, we use new platform. So this is the mRNA vaccine, which um, we are glad that because the COVID now, the COVID now is uh, also use a lot of mRNA. So when we start the project, we worried that with the new platform would be difficult to pass a clinical trial. But I think COVID will lead us to, to pass the clinical trial in human easier. Next slide. And uh, because we work the population base, so the population size that we work uh, is between 3,000 to 10,000. So we also uh, apply the technology in the lab to make it more robust. And that uh, will help us uh, gain the data from the field in timely manner. So we have the system that can do molecular analysis at the uh, uh, high throughput scale. Next one. I think this is the last slide. So this is a map that's showing how we can map the house of the population in the endemic area that we study with the, with the different uh, rate of malaria infection. You know, the red one is mean that house have so many people get multiple infection and they 
the yellow one is the uh, the house with only single infection. So all the work that we are doing at the uh, YVAX unit is in collaboration with uh, other departments, including entomology, including the biophysics, and uh, including the tropical hygiene uh, department. So we work together uh, with the other, and our field site has not only malaria. So normally the other department also uh, came to join uh, study in our population because one population carries so many uh, vector-borne disease. So uh, the lab, uh, anyone that like the lab can also come to, to, to learn or to get trained or hand on what we are doing. Anyone that enjoyed uh, the site visit, you are welcome. That's it. Thank you so much, Dr. Jesamon Prachamsi for a uh, very useful information. Okay, um, right. Um, we have um, 133 attend attendees in our Zoom meeting. And now the moment you are been waiting for has arrived. Are you ready to go on a virtual tour, play game, enjoy activities, uh, and get many prizes from us? Today we divided into three breakout rooms that I said in the, in, um, uh, you can choose according to your interests as follow. Uh, breakout room number one is basic science research. Uh, breakout, break, breakout room number two is uh, population health and advanced data analysis. And the last breakout room is number three, clinical research. Uh, <coughs> Step to join breakout room uh, and switch to other breakout rooms is uh, uh, our IT man will like will make the pop up window. You can press join button. I'm not sure our ah uh, like this. I think uh, all of you will see the the pop up window right now, and you can scroll down and you will see the, the breakout room number one, number two, and number three right now. You can choose. Sorry. Uh, yes, you, you can choose uh, only one breakout room and press join button. And once you have, to, uh, you want to change your mind to another group, you can leave breakout room and then uh, go back to the main hall to join another group. You can do it like that. Okay. If, if you cannot join, uh, or don't, don't know how to join, just uh, shout. We can help you to... Uh, yes, you can always check to us. I will stay here to help all of you. Okay, uh, right now I see so many people I don't know how many of um, visitors here. I saw Toon, I saw um, Jan Pan Kim, yes. Okay, I, I have um, the representative of nine uh, department. So, um, I don't know how many of um, visitors. Okay. So I think maybe we 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 wait for our Ajahn to join us, and then we can start the program in this room. So let let me let me tell you a little bit about the plan for for this room. We're gonna talk informal, okay? So feel free to stop us, turn on the microphone um, whenever you want to ask any question or you have comment, you can do that as well. So um, the pitching from each department will be four minutes. So um, the First department that will um, start the pitching is Helminthology by Ajahn Poom, but I haven't seen Ajahn Poom here. 
Hold on one second. Ajahn Poom, where are you? Ajahn Poom, yang hả thang thao hong mei dai mei ka. It's going to be hard because it's only four minutes. But I think at least we get to know each other. And if you like to join the the program, you can you can ask, you can email, you can uh, visit us. And um, a lot of students from MUIC they ask for internship here, maybe like working in the lab for three months, four months, or half semester mm -hmm. for the senior project. Usually in my lab, we we take them, and they are very good. I recommend that you you guys should like let them come and then maybe talk about the 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 senior project or potential project that they can do little research for their own. Um, Graduation, basically. Uh, let me check Ajahn Poom if you hear. Maybe he go to the other room. <laughs> <laughs> so, how how many students in the in this room? So, what what do you suppose to do, Kapon, for basic um, basic room? One. Well, we uh we thinking about having each uh the representative of the department teaching for four minutes and maybe a question from the current student. I ask and I will kick the Ajahn out so he can speak freely. <laughs> and and after that, we will do three at a time and let uh, the visitor ask what they want to know from us. Maybe you can uh, start with the other first. Yeah. Maybe. So let me start with Ajahn Jok. It's hmm. by the alphabet. Okay. So <laughs> that will be medical entomology for for this lot. Um, would you mind to tell us? Describe your research in your department, and wow, Ajahn Poom is here. So I'm here, here. I'm okay. here. Okay, Hi, so, so Ajahn Poom, uh, can you tell us describe the uniqueness of the research in your department? I give you four minutes. Yeah. Hi everyone. When talking about the department of hematology, actually I think we combine the combination between the service research and also the training in our department. We start to we try to keep the, I mean we have the strength in the field based and also the clinical based research, and for that we still keep it, and using the problem from both field and also the clinical, and then we try to to bring several cutting edge technology, including um, maybe you you know about the mass spectrometry, um, the next generation sequencing. And also, etc., and many, many, many things of technology. We try to use that, and then bring to our department to explore and discover every research questions. And in our department, we carry out the research activities in basic and applied science in four main areas, including taxonomy and diversity of humans, biology and epidemiology, immunodiagnosis and molecular biology. And not only that, our our service, the immunodiagnosis unit for hematic infection. I mean, we can we can say that it is the worldwide service because the people around the world send the sample to us for diagnosis of hematiasis. And in the department, we don't have the boundary because we have the collaboration with several departments in the Faculty of Tropical Medicine, including the the molecular tropical medicine and genetics, social social and environmental medicine, nutrition, microbiology, immunology. I can say that in our department, we don't have the the boundary of the research. We we try to collaborate not only in in tra, not not only in Tamuro. We also have the collaborate in other university along Thailand, and also the international collaboration international collaboration from Australia, UK. USA, Japan. And right now, our ongoing research, I put into the main focus in the four areas. For the first one, we try to develop the immunodiagnosis and molecular diagnosis of hematic infections. We applied the gene cloning recombinant protein expression. And from the recombinant protein expression proteins, we also generate the monoclonal antibody, and we try to, and I mean, if you know about the hematic infection of the problem, 
And right now, the proper diagnostic tools is still missing. We try to develop the point of care testing strip. We're also using the CRISPR-Cas technology for detection of hemolytic infections. For the second ongoing research in our department is the molecular epidemiology and molecular taxonomy. We combine the classical taxonomy and then we use the molecular technology to help for the molecular taxonomy and molecular biology to understand population genetics, epidemiology of hemolytic infections, even the environmental risk factors that may be related to the infections. For the third focusing in our department, we also have the studying of the Thai traditional herbs as the medicine or as the antihelminthic drug. And in our department, we have Dr. Urusa and also we have the collaboration with Dr. Orapak that try to you know, focus on the good derivative that maybe can use as the chemotherapy against the helminthic infection in the future. For the last one, we have the two medical doctors. The two medical doctors that we have focusing on the clinical research and they try to explore the clinical manifestation related to the hemolytic infection. And they try to do the treatment management and also the following up of the hemolytic infection using molecular technique and immunological technique. And as you can see in our department, we try to harmonize. I can say that right now, Department of Hematology, we are in the state of the modern classic because we have both the classical thing that everyone still know about the taxonomy, you can, you can classify the helminths, hemolytic infections into the species. And you also will learn a lot of the cutting edge technology that can help for the alternative prevention and control program in the future. I think I have only this at this stage. Okay. Thank you, Ajahn Kopan. Thank you, Ajahn Poom. I think you have much more to offer, but because of the time, let me move to the student. This is fun part. Vitun Bandit, are you here? Vitun Bandit, can you turn on your camera? Vitun Bandit. I am here, Kapoom. Okay, Vitun Bandit, can you tell us about yourself a little bit? You are a PhD student, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And my question is, why you are interested in um, this department? Is that because Ajahn Poom is so nice, so you just pick him? Or something else? Okay. Okay. Uh... That I am interested in this department because uh, I I interest in originally I interest in um, about the human worm from from mm -hmm. as I as young I was young because mm -hmm. uh, the humans have the, some some mysterious way that it can infect in into the, our our body as a and it has to about the, our our body and cause some some of the uh, some of this is something like that but uh the the research as now it, they they found that not only the the disease that cause from the hemolytic worm but it is it, it can cause the inter, the interaction to to modulate some 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 activity in our body so we we can okay. apply some some benefit from the hemolytic do you like your your living and learning so far here? Do you like it? Uh, yes, I. Do you like it? Okay. I'm happy. Okay, because we have a very short time. I might come back to you later. But let let move to the second department. Let Ajahn Jup um tell us about the medical entomology department, and I will come back later for you. Okay, Ajahn Jup, you ready? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you turn on your camera as well? Yeah, can you see me? I see you are. I have to. Five. I have some problem of the um, the the microphone for my PC. So that's why I separate to another for the voice in my mm -hmm. iPhone. Okay. Is this okay? Sure. I think it is look so quiet. So it is better that we can talk all together. Look very formal one. <laughs> Very serious. Okay, okay, Ajahn Jop. I got, Come on. I, got, I got one question from, from Panisa. Okay, Panisa, are you here? Yeah. You are mm -hmm. undergraduate student from MUIC, right? 
she said she interested in doing research project with us, and um, mm -hmm. she planned to be at the vet school, right? Tanisa, you're gonna be a vet veterinarian, right? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Interested in lady and and snake venoms, and I wondering, she wondering if I can contact somebody here. I think we have all Ajahn here, a lot of Ajahn from our faculty here. Anyone yeah. can uh, give the mm -hmm. answer to Panisa, please. Ajahn, I saw Ajahn Pong Lam in the list. Ajahn Pong Lam, do you have a Rebi research or something? No. <laughs> Ajahn, Ajahn ha, um, maybe you can help Panisa. She said she like to do the Rebi or snake volumes. Yeah. She want to do uh, rabies and snake venom. Yeah, Antibody? either. Uh, Panisa, can you come uh, talk to Ajahn Pong Lam? This is, I introduced you Ajahn Pong Lam here. You know, you know him, he's quite handsome here. <laughs> you contact him and then maybe Ajahn Pong Lam can guide you through the, the uh, research project there. Are there any other Ajahn that can offer Panisa any project? Please put uh, your name or your project in the chat box and you, you guys can communicate later. Thank, thanks, Panisa, for, for asking us with it. You, you know Ajahn Pong Ram already, okay? Uh, Ajahn Jok, could you please go ahead? Yeah, okay. Good morning, everybody. So welcome to Insect World. So this one, uh, I'm Jok, come from the Department of Medical Entomology. So I think we have a short uh, time uh -huh, to highlight on our research. So actually we have three keywords, very easy for us. The first one, funny with discovery. The second one, we have the yummy integration. And the last one, we have the healthy with our solution. Okay. So let's see about the each or the meaning of this one. The first one, how about the funny discovery? So you can see this one. We have to discover a new species of the all of medical insects. How important for that? It is very important in terms of the transmission. So this one in the world, we lack of entomologists, particularly for the taxonomies. So that's why it's just your chance uh -huh. and we have the um, civil mix scholarship to provide on you. So this one, we can discover whatever of the medical insects. It depends on you, wherever you want to go. Even for the urbanization, the luxury condominium, or even in the national park, the national waterfall, coastal area, it depends, okay? The third one, the third one or the second one. <laughs> Just quiet. <laughs> the second one, the yummy integration. What does it mean? It's not only insects. We have to integrate with the all of medical, tropical disease. So this one, we have to know epidemiology, the pathogens, how the pathogen deposit and locate and living in the insects. How about the interaction? So this one we call um, vector competence. This is uh, quite the in-depth detail. So we can provide both of the laboratory um, mosquito colony, that's Ajahn Jesumon mentioned, or even some other insects, the cockroach or whatever of the medical insect, we can make the colony. For what? To understand about the vector transmission and biology. Why? It just come to the last one, the healthy with our solution. Our department can provide for the vector insecticide resistant evaluation based on the WHO procedure. So whenever we have the um, new or some other company have the uh, new development of the insecticide, we can evaluate how the standard, how can we live on the insecticide? It's not only insecticide or the chemical one, we have the biological or even for the natural products. This is a good and 
uh, safety for us. So that's why we develop a lot of the uh, extraction of the hobo, the um, even for the uh, innovation products of the um, new uh, particle to handle of the uh, repellent product. So this one, I think it can also answer the solution in terms of the vector control policy, which is quite a big scale. So that's why we also touch on the um, research with the community. So it just depends on you. You like prefer for the laboratory skill or even the combination of both of lab and field or even the high um, innovation. Maybe talk with Bo, our um, master student. He also touched on the innovation of the new um, identification of the mosquito by AI. I think it is a highlight for our department. Okay, Come I said, so if the student ah. wanna know more, she can contact you, right? Maybe uh, send the email to school and then you guys can come visit Ajahn Zhup lab. And now I think it's very unique. Uh, Ajahn Zhup has a student who used to work in the department before, right, Ajahn Zhup? And he decided yeah. to be a student. So let yeah. me uh, Song Hon. Song Hon or Pibon. I think he, you can call him Pibon, right? Can you turn on the camera, please, Bon? Hello, Hap. Okay, what, what made you decide to join the graduate program? Uh, because after I work in Department of Entomology, hmm. I, I know I would like to know more about the tropical disease to apply with my work. I think only knowledge in entomology is not enough for me for doing this track. So that's the reason. How I, I know that your department, you go to the field a lot. Can you tell um, the student about experience, how fun it is, how bad it is, or you like it, why you like it? Can yeah. you can you show, uh, can you uh, share the experience? Uh, I really like to work in the field because it's the first thing is really good um, atmosphere. Yummy. Yeah, <laughs> yummy food. <laughs> Local menu. <laughs> Yes, and it's really good to touch with the natural working. Yeah, and 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 I probably benefit with uh, communication with local people too, right? Yes. They yes. offer you a good food, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Let me move. I will come back later. Don't worry. If any question from uh our visitor, we we can come back to this department later. So the third. Department. Thank you, Bon. The third department that I will um, introduce to you is medical microbiology and immunology. Ajahn Pon Pan or Ajahn Angun will um, tell us the highlight of uh, this department. Okay, yes. this is also my department as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ajahn Angun, please. Uh, thank you, Ajahn Kao Pon. From the department of microbiology and immunology. Uh, our highlight, I think we are so productive. Our department produces a lot of research publication with high impact every year. And uh, on the scope, I uh, mainly we focus on the study of several important microorganisms, uh, including bacteria, virus, and fungi, as well as the immune system or vaccine development to fight with those pathogens. And for the aspect is quite varied, depend on the project of the lecturer. Uh, but um, some research is uh, maybe a basic science and some are applied science. But our lecturer, they are all expert in the microbiology. I would say that they are all super expert in the microbiology and immunology. They have their own grant and have both uh, national and international collaboration. And uh, we have a uh, lab, uh, laboratory and facility and environment that support the research work. And not only laboratory facility, we also have the common room and plenty room to accommodate our staff and students. And um, we, we stay like we are a family. 
our lecture they are beautiful sympathetic and kind <laughs> and our staff so nice so um we believe that this factor and this element enhance uh, uh, everyone at uh, i mean uh, enhance uh, the staff and student be happy while we uh, stay together and work together uh, what else, Ajahnidia? Maybe Ajahnidia she would like to add may, more may add about our department. Yeah, uh, Ajahn Gopan, Ajahn Pan, our department also drive our research to an innovation. Uh -huh. uh, such as we got the detection kit for like uh, Bacteria pseudomonas eye that can cause the melioidosis. Uh -huh. We got the detection kit for foodborne pathogen and also chikungunya virus. Uh -huh. And right now, some reagent kit that I mentioned is now commercialized available. Uh -huh. And from all of those innovation, it leads our Ajahn staff and students get many rewards from national and international national conference. So you see, we are we work uh, with many research that had a high impact. Mm -hmm. Okay, as a need, let can I move to a student now? Okay, as a need, I can't hear you. Okay, I, I, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let let me move to student. I have uh, this is the youngest one, Charlene. She just joined us and just finished the coursework. Charlene, can you tell us how do you like the coursework? Be <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ajahn. I, I, actually, I, thank you. I just got here at school from vaccination. Okay, okay. <laughs> so this might be interesting. So I'm, uh, I just finished my coursework uh, first year in MSCPM. So I will be working under... Ajanari Sara will be working in melioidosis, so bacteriology lab. And I'm so grateful and happy to be in the department because okay. I learned a lot from during the coursework, <laughs> especially the advanced classes that we did. So like it, for preparation for thesis as well. It's torturing, but you get benefit from it, right? <laughs> okay. Yes, <Ajahn. laughs> like, okay. it, it really serves the purpose. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank Act you, Ajahn. Act actually, I have one MUIC student who work in this department. Since, since this is, um, uh, I think we have a lot of students from MUIC. I will have Fanny tell you a little bit how she liked working here and why why she picked this department for, for her thesis. Fanny, are you here? Oh, uh, yes, I'm here. Okay, okay. Fanny, can you turn on your camera? Oh, uh, yeah. Are you not ready or what? I'm not ready. Okay, okay. Can you just say like okay. how? Okay, okay, good. I see you. Okay. Fanny, can you tell your friend uh, how hello, you get uh, here, why you choose uh, to be? My name uh, is Fanny. Yeah. I have been here for like uh, around to almost three years. So before I enter master, I actually worked for Ajahn Kok for like a year. And I think uh, the reason why I joined here is because it was pretty good experience to, to work in the lab. And I learned a lot of things like doing lab and also uh, reading some papers and doing some journal club discussion and learning from others. And I actually really like the environment in our lab. And that's why I decided to join here and study, continue my study here. Okay, good. Fanny, I might come back to you later. Uh, we, actually, we have one more student, but I will keep him later because he is uh, in the vaccination process now at Salaya. So let me go to the protozoology department. Uh, we have Ajahn Supalak with us here. Ajahn Supalak, would you mind turn on your camera, please? Yes, thank you, Ajahn Gopon. Yes, please. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear okay, you. Okay, okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, protozoology. And our department focus on the diagnosis of the medical protozoa, such as Stradia and Geneva Histolytica. Have you ever heard this before? Cryptosporidium, Toxoplasma gonii, and Malaria. 
and we detect or diagnose this in humans and several kinds of animals, such as pigs, cats, dogs, monkeys. And why we have to identify these photosaurs in animals? Because these animals can be less reservoir of this parasite and they can spread the pathogen to the human. That's the reason why we have to identify the photosaur in animals as well. And we identify this photosaur in environment too to find the relationship between human, um, animals, and environment. Moreover, we work on the herb to explore the potential antiphotosaur activity because some medicines such as methotrexate that can kill or treat the Dridea and Enteroma histolytica is show resistant to this photosaur. That's why we have, uh, would like to find an alternative drug to treat this pathogen. And to achieve the goal of the department, we work together with students, health officers, and foreign collaborators from Japan, Canada, and Philippines. Moreover, we can culture nearly all medical important. For example, Dredia uh, duodenalis, toxoplasma, cryptosporidium, and malaria. This is the strain point of uh, my department. And we have smart uh, boss, Ajahn Ong Ad. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes, Ajahn. Yes. Would you like to add some information to uh, audience? About the, our department, right? Yes. Okay, actually our department focus on as Ajahn Supalak said, is uh, about the surveillance of protozoa in the, the animals, human and environment. And as uh, also we focus on the development of the new diagnostic technique for protozoa. Okay, to make it easier, better, in sensitivity and specificity. You may have heard about the, the lamp COVID-19, blah, 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 that always, I mean, to, to be used in the screening in the community. We are developing the lamp for the detection of the protozoa as well. Okay, and the, 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 the highlight of the department now today is because we can culture all the protozoa, medical protozoa in vitro, so we can analyze and, and try to screen the, the herbs, herbal drug or whatever in the, the natural resources to, to try to kill the protozoa in the safer way. If in, the, in, in case of the, the, the country to save more money or try to use the thing that we have in Thailand. And of course, we publish the international research in the, the, the publication every, day, every year. Okay, Ajahn, Ajahn Supalak, do, do you have uh, Amani, our student? Yeah, here? yeah. Amani, Amani, can you turn on camera, please? Amani. Amani, are you here? Amani, can you hear me? I think I haven't seen her name. Hold on one second. Hey, Amani, yeah, Amani. Amani here. Yes. Yeah, but but we cannot hear her voice. Yeah. How about okay, Amani? Are you here? <laughs> okay, Amani. <laughs> I I got a very easy question for you. Uh, you are PhD student or master student? I'm master student. How uh, what year you are now? Amani. Yes, I'm master student. For what year you are? Second year? Third? Second year, right? My, my question is very easy. So far, what, uh, what, what is the accomplishment that you 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 so proud of yourself during working at this department? What makes you feel like, oh, I'm so proud of myself. I can do this. Something like that. I don't think I can see Amani. Ajahn boy, I can't hear her. 
Yeah, I can hear her too. Okay, okay. <laughs> But I see her, right? I'm, I'm, I'm Ani. Hey, Thailand, I'm one of the laboratory. I hear all Ajahn and Star. We are very kind. They teach me a lot. Okay. So you like Ajahn, so kind, right? Ajahn boy is so kind, Ajahn Suparak is so kind. Okay. And uh, why, why you are interested in this department? Um, I don't think I can hear Amadi. Ajahn boy, what did she say? Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I want to learn more in detail of the Sula. Like I said, we discussed a lot of high of the Sula, like the Aniba, Toxoplasma, or Malaria. So I want to learn and gain out a new knowledge from this department. Okay, thank you, Amina. Uh, I think we passed number four, like uh, protozoology is uh, number, the fourth one. Are there any questions from a uh, visitor? And you can ask Ajahn, like, can I do, I, can I uh, join your lab to do the internship or something like that? If not, yeah. are there any questions? <laughs> okay, if not, let, let me move to the next department. Thank you, Ajahn Ongat, Ajahn Supalak. Uh, I will move to social environmental medicine. And we have, well, I, I think this is the newest lecturer here. Ajahn Thammanit Khon, uh, he will tell us about um, the uniqueness of this department. Ajahn Thammanit Khon, please. Thank you very much, Ajahn Khon. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, 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 sure. Can, I can hear I you. I have yes. a slide as well. Can I share the slide? Uh, yes, please. Because I don't know, like you say, it's like a pitching, but informal, so, right? Yeah, so can you do like... <laughs> so I don't know, it, it's quite okay. difficult how to deal with it. Okay. okay, go ahead. This is our department, Department of Social and Environmental Medicines. I am Tamani Pondin Pekun. You can call me Jui. Okay, I'm a newcomer here. I just come here for a year. First, I would like to say the concept of our departments, we call base departments, is referred to biotechnology, environmental health, social medicine, and toxicologies. Uh, we divide it into four parts. For the biotechnologies, we will conduct the, the research about the vaccine, biological drugs. Then Asan Pongram and Asan Panam will take a good care of this research right now. For the second part is the environmental health. This one includes all media in the environment, air, water, waste, and the pollution monitoring and treatments. And for the third part, we call the social medicines. We try to apply the social science in the tropical medicine and the related field. This one is Atan Supalak. We will conduct the research about the malaria and dengue. And the last part is the toxicologies. And we try to estimate the risk or the toxicity of the, the toxic substance. This is belong to Ajahn Suwali. And this is our members. We have ex member right now. Ajahn Pongram is the head of our department. You can see. And this is the research, the example of some research in our department. This is the first one is the, the vaccine. Asan Pongram got uh, Thailand's best scientist reward about the, the dengue, dengue vaccine right now and have a contract. And for the social side, we also try to do about the, the malaria infection and like a leak behavior by Asan Suparat. And the next is the, the anti cancer uh, some kind of the rapid detection and monitoring. This belong to Ajahn Suwali. And we also have the parasitologies and malacology, like for the toxic tests and also try to find the host or vector of some pathogens. And the last part for the, the environment part, this is the, 
wastewater and water treatment and air pollution models. We try to keep the concept from the, the source or the cradle to grave by to try to find the source of the, of the pollutions and try to set the plan like a prevention or like a reactive plan and also the proactive plan, try to set the policy. We would like to focus on the, the patents or some kind of new, new innovation right now. We also have the Betty patents and patents from Ajahn Pongram and Ajahn, Ajahn Achit. And Rega, this is like a multidisciplinary science and apply side like to serve to serve the, the solutions and like a sustainable way in the environment and health. This is the integrations. If you want to know more about, about the my faculties, please come and join us at the website or come to the Jam Long building at the sixth floor. If Ajahn Pongram, Ajahn Suwali have something add more, please help me. Okay, I, I think you also has a student to join this uh, section two, right? See, Sarima, right? It is, yes. I, okay. Yes, I Sarima, are you, yeah, sure. Um, are you master degree student or PhD student? I'm a PhD student, third year. Okay, okay let, let me ask you this question, good. I would say when you, when you decide to join this program, what do you want from this program? And after three years in PhD program, did you think, do you think you get whatever you want? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. okay, first of all, like um, from my background, I, I should say how, uh, my background is environmental, technology and management, which is far away from uh, what I study here, uh -huh. which is like disease, microbiology or pathology. Is it different from what I have learned? So it, I mean, it might take time for me to, to, to deal with the change. And especially in, I mean, the international program with its study in English uh -huh. and because of all I can is very helpful. I mean, they teach me step by step and make me understand about the, I mean, the linkage between environment and health and the disease. The factor in environment that, that um, I mean, effect on human and disease is very important, which is uh, um, most of people didn't see it and it can make, I mean, it can make to, to be a research patient or do research in the future for development, I think, yes. So basically you, you get what you want, right? Yeah. After three years here, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, time is <laughs> passed by really quick. Let, let me move, thank you, uh, Department of Social and Environmental Medicine. Let, let me move to the uh, tropical hygiene. We will have Ajahn Panamad um, telling us about uh, this department. Ajahn Ter, please. Thank you, Carl. Good morning, everyone. So this is an alternative of the department of the tropical hygiene, but because of actually the major, it's linked at the room number two for our basic study uh, doing work and teaching is about the epidemiology, biostatistics, and special for the bioinformatics and health bioinformatics and health informatics. So this is an alternative or extra for doing in other of the public health point that link for some extra group like a student want to study in like a if you like to study in the distribution or epidemiology in the migrant or uh, alternative for uh, studying in the health in the school that related for something be, uh, be, um, supported like a management in the school for support health in school, like a nutrition or a other like a hygiene or any environmental related for the health also. So let's talk something about that related to our research topic that link with our students Okay, Afisan, okay. please. Okay, uh, Afisan, um, can you, I asked you very, very easy question. Um, 
what interests you to join faculty of topical medicine and work in the topical hygiene department? Uh, okay, so first of all, can you hear me clearly? Yeah, yeah, I can hear, uh, okay. I can hear you fine, yeah. Okay, so uh, basically why I choose tropical medicine faculty because uh, before I came to Bangkok to study tropical medicine, I, I was working as a uh, HIV, in the HIV field. So it's really uh, close to my heart about the HIV uh, mm -hmm. topic. So that's why I want to learn more about it. And uh, my background also from public health. So I really enjoy to work with the community. So that's why I choose the tropical medicine. And in the Southeast Asia, I think only Mahi don't have the faculty of tropical medicine because uh, we also have here in Indonesia, but uh, it's under the faculty of medicine. So it's not one, uh, one big faculty. So that's okay. why I choose in Mahidon. And why I choose tropical hygiene, uh, as I mentioned before, my background from the public health, and I really uh, enjoy to work with the community and related to the HIV. And in the tropical hygiene, we're not only talking about the data, so mm -hmm. my background is epidemiology. So it's not only about the data. So you will not only work in front of the computer, uh, like I did. I work in the community. So we, uh, my um, thesis was about the uh, HIV and syphilis among the Myanmar immigrants. So we go to the field as well. So um, yeah, if you really enjoy to work, not only work in front of the computer, come and join uh -huh. with our faculty. <laughs> okay, okay, come and join you. Thank you very much. Okay, that's okay, yeah, very, very nice information. Yeah. Yep. Let me, I, I might come back to you later if we have time, okay? Especially for students. Um, let me move to tropical nutrition and food science. Uh, Ajahn Amon Lat will be the one who, who, um, who uh, tell us about the uniqueness of this uh, department. Ajahn Amon Lat, please. Okay, good morning, everyone. So I um, will tell just a little bit of all the highlight of the, our department. So as for the name about the nutrition, the tropical nutrition and also the food science. So our department will focus uh, on the research that about like four, uh, four topics. The first one, uh, we mentioned about the community nutrition. So we, and the, a nutrition is about the NCD, right? Non-communication disease, for example, like a diabetes and also in some obesity. So if someone want to join us, so you like are uh, interested on the, the NCD or obesity, we are one of your choice. Okay, the second one is about the biochemistry. Now it's about the enzymes. We're talking about the enzyme that used in, in, in the, industry, something like the sugar factory, something like that. And also the third one is about the animal use. Now then we use like a mice, like for the taste for the toxicity and also taste for bacteria or taste for like to see the organ that break it down after use of some chemicals or some antioxidants, something like that. So we, we, we can use animal for that. And also the last one is about the food microbiology because it's a kind of the food science. And uh, the food microbiology that our department will looking for is we, we focus on the probiotic bacteria. Okay. And, and our department, we have like uh, all the teacher or the lecturer in here, we have the, their own grant. And also, we also have the, the good collaboration with the many university abroad. And also, we, we also like uh, accept many like training students because our department, we have like many students come for like senior project and also internship. So if you, if the student want to explore our department and also uh, explore about the, our research, please come to okay. our department. Okay, let, let's move to the student Toon Panthi, Panthira. Toon, can you turn on your, your camera? Yes, I done. Okay, Toon, why, why, why you decide to, to do the nutrition research? What, what are you doing? Uh, what, what, what is your current research now? Can you tell us um. a little bit? 
my current research is about the environmental fungi that we we can find in the soil and water in the public park. Mm -hmm. uh, and I decided to join this department because I think uh, this is department is not only study about the nutrition of food, but uh, this department quite open to many research area that uh, uh, don't limit you to one specific view. Mm -hmm. And I think all Ajahn and staff in this department is really nice and okay. really kind. How, how about you are socialized? You like your friend uh, environment in the lab? Can you touch mm. on that topic a little bit? Um, about my uh, lab mate and mm -hmm. college, I think uh, in this department is really diversity. So uh, they come from the different pace and different intellects. So when we are in the lab, we can change the appearances uh, many experience and I think our lab mate is really really uh, really nice uh, they usually push you up to uh, to your succeed and uh, really uh, always support your work okay okay good to thank you very much ha. okay thank you uh, department of topical nutrition and food science um, let me move to tropical pathology. Today we have Ajahn Panpen. Uh, uh, Ajahn will tell us about um, the uniqueness of this department. Ajahn Panpen, please. Thank you, Ajahn Kokpon. Can you hear me well? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Um, hello to everyone. If um, I would like to introduce my department, tropical, Department of Tropical Pathology, um, I hope to sell my department to all of you. Um, I've been doing this and I have been quite successful in um, taking this opportunity to tell you what we do, okay? Um, we study diseases, okay? With uh, emphasis on tropical diseases, like uh, for example, malaria, fungal diseases, and as well as other non-communicable diseases like um, coronary heart diseases and stroke. Okay, we are one of the um, smallest department. We only have four staff, including myself. Um, so projects projects include um, uh, some of the mycetoma or eumycetoma or fungal infection of the skin. Um, Dr. Sumit want to empathize wants to emphasize on the pathogenesis and also find alternative treatment for this as well. So uh, basically pathology is um, integration of basic science uh, and also uh, applied sciences, okay? Uh, another aspect uh, by Dr. Yawapa, she, she used to, to study um, natostomiasis and now she's working on non-communicable diseases like uh, she tries to find uh, biomarkers for the risk of coronary heart diseases in, in Thai population, okay? And for Ajahn Urai, um, she's doing, uh, co-investigating uh, prebiotic, probiotic, and uh, symbiotic with the um, uh, research group in uh, Sirirat Hospital as well. Um, for myself, I'm doing on pathogenesis of malaria. I've been doing this for like uh, nearly 30 years. So I'm studying the, um, uh, what happens when malaria enters into your body and what are the signaling events that occur. So that's pure basic science. And I want to apply it to find a way to um, revert back the changes that may occur. So basically is to, to, to find some of the adjuvant treatment for um, treating severe malaria, okay? Um, the department is equipped with diagnostic unit, as well as we have electron microscope, microscopy unit. And um, electron microscopy unit is one of our um, highlights as well, and being interested by, by incoming students, okay? So you're all welcome to our department if, if uh, this situation is getting better in, in a short time, okay, we hope. Um, 
we hope that if you don't choose our department, okay, we can be of uh, good integration to your thesis chapters as well. This will help uh, you focus your thesis better and may make one of your chapters uh, a good one. Like we have like images for you to, to show on in, in papers, okay? And we have been collaborating with different departments for, for a long time. Um, we accept um, senior project students, okay? We have been doing that uh, for a long time for Latkabang University, for Nareswan University as well, and for Walailak University. Um, what are the opportunities for our students? Okay, um, re re recently we just have our graduate who, uh, up, who, who, who was accepted to be a staff in uh, Burapai University and she's going to study PhD in UK soon. I don't know if she's gone or she's with, with us today. And um, some of the students are working privately. Some since in our uh, faculty, we do have um, teaching on ethics, okay? So one of my students, after she did all her projects, she went to work with uh, research and data monitoring under Singapore chapter as well. Uh, we have staff working in Rangsit University, uh, pioneer staff in vet, veterinary medicine in Mahidon University, and a staff in Chulalongkorn University. So you can see um, our good product uh, as well. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think you have alumni join us today as well, right? Yeah, yeah we have a lot. At, I think uh, you can call on them. Uh, I think um, maybe we talk with um, Sitang a little bit. Okay. That's uh, Sitang, Sitang, would you mind to turn on your camera, please? Sitang, are you there? I'm here, yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So Sitang. are you still here or are you in UK already? I'm oh, still in Thailand. Okay. <laughs> Sitang, you, you got the master degree from the uh, topical pathology department, right? Mm -hmm. What yes. are you doing now? Are you... Um, oh, actually, I'm the student of the uh, University of Glasgow. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And I, stay, um, I study via online because of the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. okay. So I cannot so, depart from Thailand. So you, are, you continue your PhD right now, Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. what, 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 what are your... Um, experience at the Department of Topical Pathology that make you you want to pursue your your career in academic because you enter your PhD program right so that means you probably should your career to be uh, in academic area any okay. anything that inspire you from 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 topical medicine um the first one because of Ajahn so um can she um they can guide my life and all of my of Ajans are the role models. Mm -hmm. So wow. I want to be the, the Ajan, the, the, the professor, uh, or the, oh no, I mean, the lecturer, like mm -hmm. Ajan. Mm -hmm. yes. nope. they, okay. they are really kind. Okay, so you want, you want to be um, somebody who, who basically uh, educate new generation, right? Mm, like yes. Ajan, Ajan do, and, and um, uh, I think you have you have your friend here, maybe four of them, current student. I have them here, Gamon Pan, Kwan Chanok, Matusan, and Patarasuda. Let me ask you guys the same question. Why would you decide to join the Faculty of Topical Medicine? And how do you like it so far? Let's start with Patarasuda. Patarasuda. Fern, right? Fern. Okay. Hello. Okay. Uh, huh. You 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 hear my question, right? Yeah. Why okay. I decided Why? to yeah. study yeah. in this um department, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think the the most um I think the 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 most motivation thing that that make we decided to to study in in some department the first factor is um advisor or those professor that will mm -hmm. belong to your advisor in the future and then um the second the second thing is that um uh the topic of your interest 
I, I, I decided to, to, to admit to this department because um, um, my advisor, as an uh, associate, uh, Dr. Yawapa Manirat, is uh, very kind and give me an opportunity to um, do the um, PhD thesis with her. And she like helped me a lot and, and we cooperate to help each other between like um, advisor and student. I think this is the, the important relationship um, between uh, Ajahn, professor and student once uh, we are graduate student. Yes. You mean like um, you feel like you have a new family here, right? You have yes. Ajahn as you are yes. maybe second mom. Is yeah. that true? <laughs> kind of. And, and the, and the um, staff. Uh -huh. uh, in the uh, in this uh, department of pathology is very nice, and mm -hmm. everyone, I mean, every ajahn, every professor, like try to like support you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, and give and sometimes cheer you up. Okay. Um, that okay, like susu something like fighting. Okay, and try to do your best to okay. finish your thesis. Something okay. like that. Yeah. Okay. Let Let me ask the same question to Kamon Pan. Kamon Pan, you are a PhD student, right? Kamon Pan. Hello. Yes, Kamon Pan. I ask you the same question. Why Why you decide to join this department? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for my problem because the my uh con uh, in internet in mm. my department uh, in my apartment is so bad i can okay. not okay. open my camera okay so why i decide to study in this department mm -hmm. uh, five years ago uh i have to be the trainee in this department i have learned a lot of things that i never learned in bachelor degree like um, all done always give a good advice and so kind made me feel uh, heartwarming. So that's why I decided to study in a tropical pathology department. Okay. Quan Chenok, what about your opinion, Quan Chenok? Hello. Yes, Quan Chenok, yes. What, uh, yeah. Okay, for first I, uh, as for, I don't know that this, uh, in, in this, in this, uh, university have the department of the pathology so i know this because i come uh, to cooperative education here yes, and do uh, 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 my thesis so i i think i interested in the pathology because one is the our lecturer or our ajahn in this department very nice and very kind they uh, share me up when i have a, a stress or doubt they they like to uh like uh, it's okay you don't need to worry about they help me a lot and teach me a lot of things that I didn't know before so that's why I decided to uh, study in this, uh, in this department okay, uh, okay. Let, let's do the same question with Mathuson. Mathuson the last student from this department Mathuson why you like to join this um department and how how do you do you feel Hello, like can, can, yeah can you hear me yes, yes yeah um my lesson is same often um i decide to study in uh department in this department because i want to learn more in uh histopathology uh pathogenesis uh, in disease and involve uh electron microscopy, microscopy uh uh, include PM, SCM that have many staff and uh, Ajahn can, ex and can instruct and explain to well understand. Mm. And so yeah. all staff and Ajahn very kind and uh, support me and students in our department. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So it seems like uh, the uh, common thing, Ajahn, they are very nice. Yeah, right. maybe I apply to this department as another PhD for myself, right? Because Ajahn is so nice. Okay, You're thank welcome. You. We are welcome. Welcome. We welcome you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Department of Topical Pathology. Let me move to the last department, but last but not least, Molecular Tropical Medicine and Genetics. 
อาจารย์อรพักวิวกิฟต์อัสเดอร์ไฮไลท์ของเดลิสต์ในเฮอร์ดิพาร์ตเมนต์อาจารย์อรพักพลีสโอเคขอบคุณมากอาจารย์กอกพร so it is nice to see you here and I am อาจารย์ปาน a lecturer in the department and uh, I would like to give you some brief uh, highlight of our department because our department has been established since uh, 2010 and Our department is the last head department in the faculty. Our lecturer mostly are young and mid-career professionals, and the research environment in our department is quite lively and enjoyable. So, the head of our department now is Professor Malika, and uh, she won national award for inventing ultra-sensitive qPCR for malaria diagnosis. And that is the one of our highlight research. And that we also have uh, many highlight research area. So, for example, we have uh, Ajahn who tried to develop mal malaria vaccine, Ajahn Wang, and Ajahn who study the molecular characterization of G6PD deficiency. And we also have Ajahn who tried to develop the molecular based diagnosis of uh, several infectious diseases. For example, scab typhus, leptospirosis, TB, and other skin infection. Okay, and uh, we have the Ajahn who tried to develop the ther therapeutic antibody. So they try to uh, produce human antibody or chicken antibody to fight with the infectious disease. And Some Ajahn in our department would like to uh, study the non-communicable diseases, for example, the neurological diseases and the cancer linked to the HPV infection. So all of this, we try to apply the molecular technology to study um, the infectious disease and some non-communicable diseases. And in our department, as we have the modern and updated instrument, and we have the high throughput technology to uh, help us to find the answer of the biology. And I think this is all of our department. Is okay. it okay for <laughs> four more minutes? Ajahn <laughs> Tan, thank you very much. Okay. Now I, I keep the best for the last. Mm -hmm. We have a very unique um, speaker after this. Adan Terin, actually he he uh, joined the faculty as the lecturer, and later on he decided to to continue his education with us. Okay, and he become our student. Now he graduate and return back to be the faculty staff, be Adan again. I would I would like to ask Adan Terin when you. The, uh, what made you decide to become a topical medicine student, even though you already have your your PhD? Ajahn Charin, please. Hello, uh, Ajahn Kapon. <laughs> why, why, why your question is so difficult? <laughs> not not difficult. I know you 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 experience the the student feeling. You probably gonna be like closer to student than us. I think because you know what they like, what they don't like. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I think the the student. Okay, my my feeling when I come uh go back to study as a student in the in in this faculty, actually um, I I can say that I am proud to graduate here because mm -hmm. after graduation I have a uh, many many uh knowledge or experience uh including the field trip uh because of. Uh, When we have to learn here, we have to go out in the in the, uh, in the field in the field to work with the community, or and we can communicate with the community and how to transfer the knowledge from the lab to the community also. And we have the experience to 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 see or to handle the lab skill. Many many staff or many many ajahn belongs to in the. Many uh, department have the many specialties to to teach us, so we get a lot of information uh, to to improve uh, my knowledge and can be applied to the to the research work in the future. Mm -hmm. 
what what do you like the most when you were a student here? Of course, our faculty, uh, our, our department. You like your department? What about uh? I I thought you have to uh go to the uh several lecture from the other department as well. How do you like it? Or you don't like it? You hate it? <laughs> <laughs> I love all. Okay. How can I say I hate? <laughs> Okay, thank you, Ajahn Chalin. I think we have time for a question from a visitor. You guys, you now you know all department already. You can you can decide what what you like to ask, or maybe you you will ask for a project, or you want to join us somehow. Can you 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 can turn on your microphone now, and then uh, we can we can talk. Everyone wanna talk with you now. Are there any question? No. So quiet. Any question from a uh, student? Apart from what is her name, Pani Panisa, right? Okay. Any any question? I think if not, um, any question from the student, I would say uh, the aim of this discussion uh, room is help you to know our department better. Of course, it is a lot of detail in each department, but I think we inspire you to go back to the website and then maybe check out what you like and if you are interested for the senior project, you can contact uh, school, like top meds, Ajahn Wilong Rong and ask for help, or you can uh, send me the email and I will direct you to whoever I think will be, will be the best in that, in that topic for you, okay? And we have several my MUIC alumni in our faculty. I think in my lab, we have several already, but two of them joined the, the graduate school here and some uh, come to my lab for uh, internship and some come to, came, came to my lab for, for working for a year and make a decision whether she or he want to continue the study or not. I think all Ajahn in this room, okay, will, will be more than happy to, to help you out with everything. As Jan Wilong Long said, uh, we have only 15 minutes left. And if there is no question here, we can end the section earlier. I give you last chance. Are there any question? Okay. If not, uh, I would like to uh, cross this section and thank you for all Ajahn that joined this uh, discussion here and I hope you guys get to know basic research in topical medicine better. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Kha. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Kha.
Ah, no, ok, no. Ah. I think the activities in breakout room two and three is still going on. So if anyone would like to join, you can uh, also join the breakout room two and three. Uh, I think this is great. We have lots of participants for each room. Like Ajahn Kop, what's the maximum number in your room? Oh, 62. 62. But I can't identify who. Who is who? <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. And I think it's going to be a lot of students ask for um, uh, senior Skyrim. project. No, no, senior uh, project. Senior. I think this is the third year. They actually. Yeah. Well, but but I think that that's great because they have a chance to connect to us and then the the know get to know us and and the, the it's already in their field, so it, it will be their choice and of uh, in the future for the master and PhD. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, like we have a lot of them come here and join the each department for a senior project, then decide to do the grad school. Oh. So, uh, actually, we plan for the, the, the like the what was the um, internship. Huh? Internship uh, this this year for for several departments, but uh, since the COVID nineteen situation, so. It's not been been uh, like announced yet, and and luckily I think the situation in Bangkok right now is getting worse, and mm -hmm. we have uh, a lockdown very soon. And the, 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 but hopefully within few months it should be better. Yeah. So, yeah. so the, the those who would like to do the senior project or do the internship, they can join. We will have announcement on the website on. Uh, like which department open for the internship uh, uh, at which period of time of the year? Ajahn K. Usually, Ajahn, I, I forget his name, Ajahn Alan. Ajahn Alan always um, have somebody email us how many, Ajahn, how many students you can take for a senior project. I don't know, maybe you can contact him and, and offer the faculty or Ajahn that can take okay. the senior project. Okay, that's great because we have the uh, material, we have the news to advertise, but then we don't know exactly who to contact in each institute or mm -hmm. uh, in each place. Yeah, you if, you, if you can give name, that will be better. Usually, um, they will ask me like, how many students you can take a year? I said I can take only maybe one or two, but Please contact the faculty of topical medicine, but I don't know if they contact contact the faculty or not. Yeah, maybe uh, next time just uh, straight to me. Then okay. Yeah. So we will not uh, we will not be skipped. Okay. Okay. So I'm leaving now. I'm hungry. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think that, uh, we are very like successful talking to lots of people. And uh, I to thank our uh, lecturers and our participants uh, who, who, and also our staff who work very hard for this uh, uh, like event to be successful. So the, okay. the, thank you very much. Anyone would like to have give any comments or anything? You can freely talk right now. It's a, a informal. Yes, someone talking. อาจารย์เก๋ค่ะเข้าไปตอบแล้วมันคําถามมันก็ถ้าเป็นเลคเชอร์ก็ไม่ได้จะต้องตอบบางอันแต่เขาบังคับตอบในแบบสอบถามอ
we have a uh, choice for lecture or not? Oh, just in case you would like to have like upskill and reskill. Okay, Ka, uh, any other comments? Atanje, someone would you like to have any comments? No, the, the feedback form normally for students, not for us. Because if I say no, and then when you calculate the number, how many of attendees say yes to be student and say no, I'm not going to be your student. So I have to say okay. no, <laughs> not maybe. And then how can you analyze the data? <laughs> mm, I think I think the form not suitable for lecturer or for the other, only for student. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe next time you will be more considerate for every like the, the participants' uh, role for the mm. answer to this uh, kind of feedback. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ha, or uh, lecturers. Are you tired, Adapan? Okay. <laughs> นักศึกษาบนเรื่องกรอกฟอร์มซ้ำซ้ำสองสองอันน่ะหมายถึงว่ากรอกของเราทีแล้วต้องไปกรอกของ graduate อีกแล้วอ่ะ graduate เดี๋ยวไว้ค่อยคุยกันหลังไมค์ก็ได้ดรอ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,อ,องอ่ะฟอร์มไหนนะเดี๋ยวหมายถึงสับไอนี่เหรอหรือว่าใบสมัครหรอคะใช่ใบสมัครอ่ะจันเจสงสารเขาเลยอ่ะเขาคงเซ็งอ่ะเพราะว่าเขาบอกว่ามันเหมือนต้องขอ recommendation letter อะไรด้วยไง